Welcome back to Living 808. If you're looking for something fun to do this Friday night, we have a great event coming up. It's Honolulu Museum of Arts Art After Dark event, and there's something for everyone. To get all the details, we have Brandy Antonellis and Hilary Sholin here from the museum and the Art After Dark event to tell us what's happening. Nice to have both of you ladies here this morning. Thank so much for having us. And I think John has saved some food for you, so in well, case you're hungry after this, but we want to tell people <laughs> about this and about the Museum of Art. Of course. So the museum is actually Hawaii's arts and culture hub, and we feature artwork from around the globe. A lot of people still know us as the Honolulu Academy of Arts, but we changed the name a few years back. And actually, a fun fact, we just celebrated our 92nd birthday this past month. You're kidding. Yeah, so we're 92 years young. Oh, okay. I think we're looking pretty good for 92. <laughs> I'd say so. <laughs> Speaking of uh, looking good, our permanent collection features um, artwork from all over the globe, including big name artists like Monet, Gauguin, and Van Gogh, in addition to uh, local Hawaii artists like Sotoru Abe and Ruben Tam. We also have one of the largest Japanese woodblock print collections in the country. So there's really something for everybody to see. And we have a couple special exhibitions throughout um, the year, one of which I'll be talking about later. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see, what else? Beyond the artwork, we have the Doris Duke Theater that screens international and independent films all year round, and also an art school that does hands-on learning for learners of all ages. So exactly right. There's something for everybody going on at the museum. And a lot happening. Let's talk about... Art After Dark. There's something special planned for May. Yes, there is. We actually, Art After Dark is an art party mm -hmm. and it's dedicated to uh, exploring the arts. And we work with a great volunteer committee mm -hmm. of art enthusiasts who help plan the themes for each month. We're looking at some, some footage from past events. This one, I understand there's a red carpet event. Can you talk about that? Yes, yes. So there's a red carpet event planned for this Friday. The title is Homa Red Carpet Endless Space, which is inspired by our current textiles exhibition. Mm -hmm. uh, we always try to relate it back to the art, so whatever event is happening, it's always planned by our committee and our team at Homa to make sure that we're always connecting back to the art. In addition to the art, in ter terms of activities, champagne and going yes, all out? There's a lot going on. Our, we have a great program planned. Um, none of this could be possible with our, our presenting sponsor, Hawaiian Airlines Bank of Hawaii World Elite MasterCard. Uh, some of the programming includes a uh, performance by harpist and soloist, vocalist uh, Michelle Rose Tucker. We have some DJs, DJ Matt Balberry, as well as DJ Remit, and supported by Vision District. Um, there will be a champagne bar provided by Free Spirits, mm -hmm. um, lots of great food by Eat Honolulu Team, and there will be a performer from Iona Contemporary Dance Theater and many red carpet photo opportunities. There you go, so much happening there. But let's talk about the textiles exhibition. Sure, so that red carpet theme, um, I, a lot of people have just seen the Met Gala happen. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to kind of draw a little bit of inspiration from that and tie it back to the art, as Brandy said. We just unveiled our spring exhibition, which is called Constellation Drawing in Space. And it features artwork by a Dutch contemporary um, textiles artist um, named Marian Belingha. And her work is really interesting. She um, uses really innovative materials to uh, create a drawn line that then is suspended away from the wall. So her work really plays with negative and positive space and encourages the viewer to see what's not really there. So it's, you really have to see it in person. I really encourage you to come down. It's beautiful. The craftsmanship that goes into this is just amazing. And um, you can see it, this uh, exhibition is on view through August 4th, okay. or you can see it at Art After Dark on Friday. It would be the perfect time. Go check it out Friday. We have all the information for you right there on the screen. And as always, you can follow them at Honolulu Museum. Thank you so much for telling us. It sounds like a fantastic opportunity to see some great art and be part of something really Definitely. fun. Thank you. We have